Welcome back friends. Welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. Like every year before CSI NET exam, we prepare a series of videos to guide you the best way to prepare for NET exam. Now this time I also came up with three very important questions that I received from my subscribers. One of that is why my CSI NET score is not improving, why my score is not increasing. And that is a problem most of the CSR aspirants face these days. Okay. Because you know you may uh, try several times, two times, three times, four times in the NET exam and every single time you are getting closer to 85, 90, 95, something like that. This is a sweet spot uh, to score a mark in CSR NET exam. But you are not quite able to cross this particular deadline like 120 that is the actual uh, target that you should have the, for considering the last few um, scores. Okay, and last few cutoffs. So there is a 20 to 30 marks difference that you always end up with in every single time. Same marks you are getting. What is the reason behind this? So stay tuned to watch this video because I am going to tell the same thing and some important facts why uh, you are not scoring uh, better than that. So let's begin. There are few things. Actually there are three things that I want to talk about uh, which I find the actual thing which is pulling you back while you're scoring in the CSI NET exam. The first thing is that you are not preparing or practicing well. You may think you're preparing well because you read so many different books, different notes and things like that. But actually the preparation that is apt to qualify CSI NET, if I tell you, that is divided into two different things. One is the reading and comprehending what you read. Another one is practice reading and practice it's just like theory and practical in any case of subject practice is the practical that you need to do after reading which is the actual mode of preparation most of the people just read and read throughout the six months of the preparation and the course but practice very often very very rare Practicing means you're taking up questions and start solving the questions. You may think like reading it is more important because reading will give you knowledge about the subject. It's fine. But unless you practice, you'll never know which part of the topic you're weak at and which part of the topic you're strong. So you can't actually judge yourself. So this is one of the biggest problem that most of the students are facing. That is one reason uh, to score low marks in the exam. Because what happens actually, uh, during the uh, practice, you may know that during the preparation, you're reading from different books, reading different notes. So you, you think that you prepared well. But while you're reading from book, from pictures and, and diagrams and tables, many informations you overlook. And it's not your fault. It's not my fault. It's, it's always like that's how human brain works. While you're reading something, you, while looking at pictures, we think like we remember everything. But actually, in reality, many things we forget over the course. That's how memory works. It's not present there throughout of our lifespan. So we keep forgetting things. So unless you practice, you won't be able to recall those things in the exam. So in many things, you probably have read at any point of your preparation. But while during the exam, you are unable to recall that info. And that is the reason many questions, even if you know that part or have, uh, even if you read that part few months back, but you are unable to answer during the exam. This is one reason to not getting a good mark. Because not getting a good marks or score depends on two things. Either you are not able to answer all the questions correctly, right? Or you can't even attend most of the questions. This is one biggest thing. If you can't attend the question, you can't get a good marks, right? Let's say from this group C, there are 25 questions you need to answer and you are only able to answer 10 questions. So obviously the marks you'll get will be less. This is one thing. And the reason behind this is practicing less. So change the way you prepare. Okay. Practice more, read more at the very beginning of the preparation. I can help you divide it into two different part. If it's a six month preparation, first three months, read more. First two months, read more, practice less. Then the latter two months, reading and practice 50-50. And the last two months, reading less, practice more. And in the last month, the month of the exam, practice practice and practice that is the way you should approach now the second fact that i want to talk about is let's say you are answering questions you able to answer the question able to uh, 
see the question and understand the question so you attain the question but you end up in negative marking that means the answer that we are giving is incorrect in most of the questions this is another big reason to end up with a low marks in the net exam and most probably you'll see that if you remove the negative marking in many times you can calculate your own score you probably get a winning score or the score above the cutoff so due to that negative marking you're always kind of pushed back now what is the reason behind this so again in this part same thing is working as you are practicing less so the confidence to answer a question is also become less so the time you think that option b should be correct actually option c becomes correct so this is also happens if you have less practice give me a practical example let's say if you don't cycle often you take a cycle and start riding in very rough road it will be pro problematic for you and it will take more time to travel a particular distance but if i if you frequently practice it if you frequently use with cycle you don't have any differences whether it's a rough road thin road strong road or smooth road you can easily uh, travel through it in a perfect time the same thing occurs here in in case of csa net in any case practice makes you the best and perfect for that particular situation okay so again lack of practice causes lack of concentration and lack of concentration ultimately results in negative marking lack of confidence results in negative marking so ultimately you have less marks in your hand this is the second thing and the third thing is sometimes you are unable to answer all the questions even though you practice very well due to lack of time during the exam so this is the third most important thing the time the availability of time the time you have is three hours three hours is not a bad thing but depending upon the number of questions that you need to read it's pretty much big it's a kind of a thin book uh, the question paper of CSI net so it will take so much time to read through all the questions and then trying to answer even though you know you you know the answer of many questions you end up with answering only a few due to the time limitations that's another big thing that is pulling you down while you're preparing for CSI net exam so how to manage the time very well again to manage the time very well you need to have a very strong understanding of a question because whenever you're reading a question you just read it from outside and, and can see that yes this question i can do that question i can't not reading the complete question from the top to the bottom because if you want to read every single question from top to the bottom it will take over one hour to complete the whole question paper so how can you answer them because you need to read comprehend then think analyze and then put the answer so again depends on practice as well as whenever you're reading the question you need to have a way to identify the question whether it's on your zone or out of your zone if it's on your zone start answering start looking at that question but if it's outside your zone just leave it and how can you know that by again practicing more and more question you get to know this idea the feeling that this question i can do this question i can't this is a ability to judge by looking at a question thoroughly but just just overview just take a look at the question telling that yes this question i can do this question i can't do okay and there are few many questions are there in the exam which are concentration bait questions that those questions will uh, lo seem lucrative at the very beginning so you start answering the question and suddenly at the end you see it becomes confusing this is a trap based on questions this type of questions are also there in the exam so these questions uh, will allow you to first attain those questions and then finally you end up in not answering anything for that question so it will take 10 to 15 minutes of your time if one question takes 10 minutes of your time that is a huge loss based on that so never give 10 minutes to one question whether you know it or don't know it doesn't matter because it's not allotted for 10 minutes to answer meanwhile you can answer other question you may answer other questions correctly but that question is taking more of your time so how to know that this question is a bait question and which question is going to minimize your concern like you, you enhance uh, or you, it will trap you to know these things again you need to uh, be looking at many question as many question as you can so the more question you attain before the exam pra during practice the better the chance you're going to see this so you see all these three things that we talked about are somehow linked with the way that you preparing so the way of preparation is very very important and if you are continuously 
getting less number and same number again and again you must think about this idea that means whatever approach that you are taking for that exam is wrong it's not going to increase the marks so this is the time to change the approach don't use that same approach that you have uh, used in the last net exam so it's always advisable to change and shift the gear from one exam to the next if you think that yes this process is working for you then you stick to that if the process is not working from you so in that case you should shift to another process that's how i tell told you if you don't follow whatever i have told till this point like if you don't practice very well or if you can't manage the time very well so it's time to reshift the gear and trying to use the strategy that i told you at the very start point of the month you go reading more less practice very very initial stage and read from the books at that point to get a solid understanding while the second part is only reading practical that is the practice 50 50 and the final end point only practice find this strategy i think this strategy will be helpful for you so change the way you prepare and it is going to re reflect in the exam that you are going to apply but remember one thing to get a good marks to increase to to increase the marks that you'll get you need to answer enough number of questions which is pretty big right now because the cutoff is almost like 120 more than 50% it's 60 62% cutoff so you need to answer enough number of question you need to answer them correctly within time then only you'll be able to qualify and increase your marks so these three things matter and answer enough number of questions approximately 15 to 16 question in group c 25 to 30 question in group b and 10 questions 8 to 10 question in group a at least you need to answer 20 question in in group c is the best thing uh, uh, like apart from 25 so 20 questions should be the target in group c to answer that by that thing you may remember right yes you stick with the enough number of questions and also you need to answer them correctly and also finish the answer on time so next two things depends on the way you handle more and more question paper and the first thing depends on the the skills that you have knowledge that you have for the subject so that's all about this video so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that and if you want to join shomus biology coaching either online or offline you can see the link uh, on the top as well as on the bottom you can click there and also add a card there you can check our website for the details thank you